The highlight of the week, sponsored by Dave Frannick Auto. Looking for that first car for your son or daughter? Don't panic. See Dave Frannick. We start this North 1 Group 1 first round match at 106 pounds, and it's William Hurt of Wilkill Valley with the back points as he goes on to a 12-1 major over Zach Murphy, and Lenape Valley trails 4-0. After a forfeit at 113 pounds, Lenape Valley increases its lead to 12-4 here as Aaron Arizon pins Ben Coombs in 303 for the Pats. They move to 126 pounds, and it's Peter Lapari of Lenape Valley with the back points against Sean Seek en route to a 9-0 major, and Lenape Valley holds a 16-4 lead. And a good one at 132 pounds, watch Glenn Haynes of Lenape Valley get the reversal of Joe Hawking in the third period to secure a 7-4 decision, and it's 19-4 Lenape Valley. At 138 pounds, watch Matt Benvenuto with the takedown in the pin as he decks Jim Lodema in 112 as the Pats take control 25-4. I wrestled him early in the season. He's always a tough component. We wrestled uh, multiple times throughout high school. Uh, I just knew that this is the last time I'll ever wrestle in this gym, and I knew that I had to come out with my best six minutes, and uh, I wrestled well and uh, ended up getting the pin. Wilco Valley finally gets back on the school board here Watch Steve Seek with the reversal as he tops Michael Narejo 7-4 and the Rangers trail 25-7. We move to 152 pounds and watch Dominic LaBelle of Lenape Valley get the two near points as he blanks Patrick Endricat 9-0 to push Lenape's lead to 29-7. At 160 pounds, it's Joe LaBelle of Lenape Valley. Watch him turn Andrew Reed to his back as it records the fall in 438 and it's 35 to 7 Lenape Valley. Lenape Valley gets another pin here, watch DJ Barrett with the fall in 315 over Tyler Creeding, and Lenape Valley's running away with this one as they lead 41 to 7. At 182 pounds, Sam Palumbo of Lenape Valley trails 6-1 before rallying with the takedown here in the third period as he pulls a 10-7 upset over Alex Roman and it's 44-7 Lenape Valley. And at 195 pounds, Christian Barrett of Lenape Valley locks up the pin of Ian McDonald at 112. And after two more wall kill forfeits, Lenape Valley advances to the section semis with a 62-7 victory. Throughout the season, we've uh, we didn't have a great record uh, due to the, we the, tonight was the first night that we wrestled with a full starting lineup, so we were pretty confident coming in, knowing that we already beat these uh, uh, wall kill team and. Uh, it just goes to show 62 to 7. When we have a full lineup, uh, we're going to surprise a lot of people, including uh, we're going to give Emerson Park all they can handle and then hopefully make it to Friday and wrestle Kittatinny and uh, shock a lot of people there. We all wrestled hard today. Um, we got the bonus points when we needed. Uh, we lost the first match, but uh, Aaron Arizon or Tony Pounder picked it up with that pin and it just kept on, kept on going. It was great wrestling with the full lineup. Um, We've been gelling as a team. Uh, I think that's one of the reasons we uh, excelled so much in this match, and it was 62-7. We got everyone back, and I feel like the fact that we're more of a family now, and now we got everyone back where they're supposed to be, that we're going to excel all the way to the finals of the sections. All year we've been struggling with illness and injury, and this is actually the first match all year that we finally have a full lineup, and all our starters are in it. So basically just kind of give those kids, you know, let, <clears throat> let them remind, you know, remind them of that, that you know, this is the first time all year that we're allowed to show everybody what we've got. Everybody's just saying, where's Lenape Valley? You know, we've had, uh, I think, three to four kids out for every match. So just kind of reminded them that they're a better team than what they've been on the mat so far. And everybody's got pretty fired up, and they're excited for Emerson. A little more motivation for you guys not having Coach Vetter here tonight. Obviously, he was uh, with the in spirit here tonight. But, uh, you know, obviously, your, your head coach, your assistant coaches are very uh, – very good guys, Mike Gummerson, former kid at Tinney stand out there, so I'm sure you guys were well prepared. Yeah, we were uh, very well prepared. Um, my mindset going into the match was I wanted to win for my coach because he's very sick. You know, he's got a family he's got to take care of. So I wanted to make sure, like, I did well in my match and that I supported my teammates. And I, he usually says a prayer for us in the beginning of the match, and I, I, I was the one who gave the sermon, I guess. So, I mean, we still came out strong, and I think he's going to be proud of us.